Wild Bill Hickok Adventure. With Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine, that's me as his pal Jingle. Brought to you by that famous talking cereal, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Snap, <laughs> crackle, <laughs> pop. Today, Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the world's only talking cereal, brings you Wild Bill Hickok. Transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, The Hoodoo of Fiddler's Bend. Yip, 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 yip. Yes, cowpokes, the big, big, wonderful Kellogg's free 3D mask offer is on. Right now, on package backs of Kellogg's Rice Krispies and Kellogg's Corn Flakes are the most terrific, scary, pretty, ugly 3D cutout masks you ever laid eyes on. And they're free right on Kellogg's package backs. Now, being three-dimension, these masks curve amazingly to fit your face and are so lifelike. Stand by for more details in a few minutes. When the cry of gold went up in the West, men came from all over the world to dig for the yellow metal. Some chose to tunnel into the earth where gold veins lay deep. Others took the easier gamble of placer mining. The placers washed the creek bed gravel for free nuggets and gold dust. But wherever the men found gold, they also found violence. And some of them sent for United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles. That's what Salty Stokes did when he ran into and couldn't handle the hoodoo of Fiddler's Bend. That's the way, Mac. Just keep at it. It ain't getting no better. Yeah, it'll work out. Uh, work out nothing. Huh? I quit. I'm giving up, Salty. Ah, uh, don't pay a man to give up, Mac. I can't fight it no longer. Killings are getting you down, eh? I don't know whether it's the killings or this blasted blue mud. One or the other, I figure I could take. But both come up to too much. Well, ain't no use trying to persuade you different if your mind's set, I reckon. No, Salty, it ain't no use. We may just as well split up and divide the dust in them nuggets and call it quits. Well, all right, Mac, if that's the way you want it. I got the folk right here. Yeah, but I wish you'd have waited. Why? Can't see that waiting's going to do any good. Well, I ain't told you this. In fact, I ain't told nobody. But I figure for long these killings are going to stop. Now, the blue hoodoo, I can't do nothing about. But killings? Well, I got a way. Yeah? How do you figure to stop him when nobody else can? I sent for Wild Bill Hickok, U.S. Marshal. Wild Bill? Yep. You ain't never seen Wild Bill. He don't know you from a piebald cayuse. What makes you think he's going to come here? I hear when a man needs Wild Bill Hickok and sends for him, he comes. Well, I ain't waiting. It's for Hickok coming here. Ha! Yeah, maybe so. Now, here's your half of the gold. Well, but... now, gents, I hate to see you giving up like this. Salty, it's the killer. He's wearing a mask like they say. Yeah, well, now, take it easy, Mac. Don't lose your head. Yeah, Mac, take it easy like your partner says. And I'll take that dust and them nuggets from both of you. Why, you low now, guy. Easy, Mac, easy. I don't mind you leaving if you don't like it here, but we don't want you walking off with all the gold. You ain't taking my gold, you sneaking woods rat. Mac, don't reach for your gun. He'll kill you. Yeah, Mac, it's suicide. Now, you're going to have to kill me to get this dust. No, Mac. Go draw. No. You hurt me, bushwhacker. Back. All right, all right. You can quit shooting, mister. Too bad he didn't listen to you, ain't it? Yeah, too bad. Some men are just plain stubborn. Yeah, stubborn and dead. That's right. Don't pay to be stubborn. Remember that. I hand over that gold, and when you finish burying them, you get, and get fast. Yeah, I, I don't know who you are, stranger, but... I'll be leaving. You're smart, Salty. And by the way, thank you for spilling the beans about Wild Bill Hickok coming here. We'll be sure to set up a fine and fitting welcome for the great Wild Bill. headed for mining country. This is mining country, Jingles. Yeah, don't look like it to me. I ain't seen a tunnel yet. This is plastic mining, partner. Oh, yeah, that, that's where the miners shovel sand and gravel into a cradle and rock it like a baby. That's one way. 
Another is using long sluice boxes with cleats in the bottom. Same idea. You put the dirt in the box and wash it with water till the gold settles and catches on the cleats. That's right. We'll be seeing some pretty soon. Hey, Bill. Two riders over there. Yeah, I see them. Maybe one of them is Salty Stokes. Well, I don't like the look. Now, don't go borrowing trouble, Jingles. They'll get here soon enough. There's the truth if I ever heard it. A whole joker. Oh, but uh, he's a good one. Well, welcome to Fiddler's Bend, Marshal Hickok. Jingles. Thank you, stranger. Yeah, thank you. I reckon... I'm Orson Hyde. I do the assaying for the miners of Fiddler's Bend. Uh, this is Salty Stokes. Huh? What did you say his name was? Salty Stokes, deputy. One of the leading miners around here. You recognize the name? I sure do. Uh, Bill, ain't he the one Never that... mind, Jingles. Oh. We uh, want to thank you for the welcome, Mr. Hyde. Glad to meet you, Mr. Stokes. Howdy, Marshal. Oh, just call me Salty. It's all right. I already told Mr. Hyde here all about sending for you. Oh, then I guess everything's all right. Sure it is. <laughs> yeah. Everything's just fine now, Jingle. Salty, uh, why don't you take the marshal and his big deputy around Fiddler's Bend and show them some of the diggings? Well, sure, Mr. Hyde. I'd be right glad to show them around. Be sure you show them everything, hmm? Huh? See you later, Marshal. Don't you worry. I'll show them everything. Right up this way, Mr. Hickok. Up, oh, boy. Get up there, Buckshot. Yeah. Come on, Joker. Now, wake up. Uh, you gonna show us some gold, Salty? Well, sure, Jingles. I'll show you gold. Well. Plenty of it in the big hopper up ahead of it. Yeah, yeah, you reckon we can get some samples, Bill? That's not what we came here for, Jingle. Oh, yeah. Hey, Salty, what kind of trouble made you send for us? Oh, we'll get around to that, Jingles. I want you and the marshal to see the layout first. Oh, boy. Oh, Joker. Climb down, gents, and I'll show you the gold. Oh, boy, that's what I want to see. <laughs> now, here's the big hopper I was talking about. Miners use this for storage of gold there in sand and gravel till they're ready to wash it down. Big one, all right. Must hold up to ten tons. Yep, and it's plumb full. Come around the lower end of it. Uh, that where I can see the gold? Yeah. You get right in close, reach up, and get your hand full. Now be careful, Jingles. You pull open that gate, and you'd be buried in ten tons of sand and gravel. That's a general idea, Lawner. Look out, Jingles, here it comes! Yeah! Free mask, partners. Get your wonderful free 3D mask right now on the packages of Kellogg's Corn Flakes and the large size packages of Rice Krispies. <laughs> Charlie, I just couldn't resist telling the kids to hurry and get these swell free cutout Kellogg's 3D masks. Yep, Wranglers, never before has the Kellogg Company had an exciting 3D cutout mask offer. And being 3D, these masks curve to fit your face. So lifelike. Yeah, and these terrific 3D masks are full color, full size, and they're free. You just put them off of Kellogg's package backs and wear them. Now, there are 12 different wonderful 3D masks you can collect. There's Congo Bongo the Gorilla, Tomahawk the Indian, Echo the Witch, and lots more. Twelve big, full-size masks in all. And on the small Rice Krispies packages are four different swell mask makeup sets. Now, you'll want your free 3D masks and makeup sets right away. To play with, disguise yourself, fool your friends. You'll want them for trick-or-treats and Halloween. So ask Mom to get the world's only talking cereal, Kellogg's Delicious Rice Krispies, and the world's favorite cereal, Good Kellogg's Corn Flakes. On the package backs are lifelike, free 3D masks. Get yours today. <laughs> The treacherous Orson Hyde and Busher, his vicious henchmen, took advantage of the fact that Wild Bill had never seen Salty Stokes, the man who had sent for them. With Busher posing as Salty, they set a trap meant to kill Bill and Jingles. When the trap was sprung, Busher raced back to Orson Hyde's assay office, gloating over his success. Oh boy, pull up, you cold ape. Hyde's going to be right happy to hear about this. Well, Busher, how'd you make out? It was a cinch with me acting like I was Salty Stokes. What happened? It went just like I said it would, like shooting fish in a rain barrel. Right now they're buried under ten ton of gravel at the foot of the big hopper. You sure? Well, sure, I'm sure. I seen it, didn't I? 
So that was the great Wild Bill Hickok, huh? I thought he was supposed to be as smart as a fox and tough as a grizzly. He is. You mean he was? He ain't no more. Unless he's part badger, he'll never live to dig out that grave he's in. Nice work, Bushy. Well, all the tough ones are gone now. One more accident will scare the rest of those miners packing. We'll have Fiddler's Bend to ourselves. We've practically got it to ourselves right now with Hickok gone. Just the same, we've got to be cautious. So far, nobody's wise to our secret of the blue clay. Yeah, and nobody's going to live to get wise. I'll see to that. Jingles. Oh, hey, Jingles. Oh, Bill. Hey, Jingles, are you hurt? I don't know. Well, can you move? No, I ain't got nothing left to move with. Bill, where are we? What happened? That Jasper had a trap set for us. He pulled a keeg timber, and that hopper full of gravel came piling down on us. You mean we're buried alive in here? That's about it. I shoved you under the hopper, or we'd be goners by now. But how are we going to get out? Dig. Uh, you start digging, and you'll pull the rest of the ten tons of gravel in on us. We're going to have to take a chance on that, partner. Hey, wait a minute. Here's a loose timber. Bill, don't pull that. Cross your fingers. Here goes. Bill! Work, Jingles. There's a big hole. I see daylight. Yeah, and that ain't all I see. What else? A pair of legs, Bill. Somebody's waiting to get us when we get out of here. Quiet. If he comes a little closer, maybe I can surprise him. Now, Bill, grab him. Now, mister, we're going to square this up. Wait, wait. Hold on. Well, hold on, nothing. Give it to him, Bill. Wait a minute. Wait. wait. I, 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 I'm here to help you. What? What's that, mister? I said I'm here to help you out of there. I'm Salty Stokes. Salty Stokes? Now, doggone it, half the population of Fiddler's Bend must bear that name. Hold it, Jingles. Maybe I'm beginning to see a little light. Well, I wish I could see some for a change. Well, you're Wild Bill Hickok, ain't you? That's right. Well, I'm the gent that sent for you, Marshal. Then who was that Jasper that buried us alive? Well, I ain't sure, but from the cut of his back when he was running away, I'd say it was Busher. Works for Orson Hyde. Then let's go get the coyote. Not so fast, partner. No. Let's hear Solly's story first. Well, it's soon told, Mr. Hickok been a lot of killings and accidents that didn't look so accidental here in the diggings. Between them and the blue clay, Fiddler's Bend's about washed up. Blue clay? Bill, ain't we run into that before? We sure have. Can you uh, show me some of that blue clay, Salty? Yeah, sure, Marshal. Just step over here to the bank of the creek. Here's where me and my partner was working when he was shot. Somebody shot your partner? Yeah. Mac ain't the first. Most of the miners have been run off by these killers. They're after a gold. I'm not so sure. Uh, what do you mean, Hickok? Sully, I want you to tell me more about that blue clay. Oh, that clay's a hoodoo, Hickok. Hogs with sluice boxes, keeps the gold from settling, cuts the values, too. Who told you that? Well, Mr. Hyde. He does all the assaying for this neck of the woods. It's beginning to add up, Jingles. Well, I wish you'd get out your blackboard and show me how it figures. All I got is blue clay and gold and killings and us being buried alive and none of it adds up. Not one little bit. I might just as well stay buried. And that's what you're just going to do, partner. Huh? Now, hold on, Bill Hickok. Don't get excited. I mean, they thought we were killed, so we'll just stay dead as far as they're concerned. Well, what's that going to get you, Marshal? A chance to raid Orson Hyde's office. I'd like to get a look at his records without his knowing it. Tonight's a good time, so after it gets dark, we'll go on to town. Bill, I don't like this a little bit. Orson Hyde just might have a whole gang in this town watching us. We've been in tight spots before, Jingle. Uh, there's Orson Hyde's assay office, Wild Bill. Bill, there's a light on. Yeah, I'll take a look in the window first. You wait here. Well, be careful, Bill. <laughs> Hickok sure got a lot of sand, baby. Oh, more than enough for both of us. Well, here he comes back. Nobody's in the office. But the door's locked, so we're going to have to force it open. Come on, Bill. Bill, the hair is standing up on the back of my neck like a set of porcupine quills. I got a feeling there's 40 guns pointing at my back. Take it easy, partner. All right, put your shoulder against this door and push. All right, here goes. Well, that ain't much of a lock. I'm going to have to work fast. I'll look in Hyde's desk. Solely, you check his file. All right. Jingles, you dig around the office for record books. Hey, Bill, must be making coffee. Look at this jug boiling over here. Don't get near that, Jingles. It's acid. Yeah, that's what he uses to test the ore with. Hey, here's what I was looking for. Hey? You found his record book, Bill? Yeah. But... 
Does it tell you anything, Marshal? Now, let's see, Bill. Yep, just what I thought. What? That blue clay is almost pure silver. Silver? That's right, Sully. While you were trying to squeeze gold out of your claims, you were sitting on top of a silver bonanza. And Hyde knew it. That's about the size of it. Orson Hyde's the man we're after, gents. Uh, it's but, just uh, too bad you found that out, Hickok. Bill, it's Hyde! And Busher, and they got us covered. Stay wide, Busher, and shoot the first one that moves. Hickok's got a lot of tricks. Tricks ain't gonna do him no good now. He's come to the end of the line. <laughs> Ho, 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 I'm Patch Eye the Pirate. Wow. Slim here has got one of Kellogg's terrific free 3D masks. Golly, Wranglers, these wonderful 3D cutout masks that come free on Kellogg's Corn Flakes packages and large size Rice Krispies packages are full color, full size. Now, folks, this is the first 3D cutout mask offer the Kellogg Company's ever made. And being three-dimension, these masks curve to fit your face so lifelike. And there are 12 different Kellogg's 3D masks you can collect. There's Pumpkin Puss, Pork Chop the Pig, an Indian Princess, and lots more. Twelve different 3D masks in all. And on the small Rice Krispies packages are the swellest free mask makeup sets. Four different ones. Now you can play with these free 3D masks and mask makeup sets, disguise yourself, fool your friends, have them for trick-or-treats and Halloween. So ask your mom to get you both size boxes of the Snap, Crackle, and Pop cereal, Kellogg's Delicious Rice Krispies, and Kellogg's Corn Flakes, the cereal most people like best, always have, still do. Right on the package backs, you'll find free 3D masks. Get yours today, partners. While Bill, Jingles, and Salty were so intent on what they were doing that they didn't hear the stealthy approach of Orson Hyde and Busher behind them, the two men had them cold before Bill could make a move. Play it safe, Jingles. Doggone it, I knew we shouldn't have come here. Too late to think of that now, you big buffalo. All right, Busher, kick those three chairs over to him and we'll tie him up. One move out of you, Haycock, and I'll plug Jingles. Tie him up? Well, it's a waste of time. Why don't we gun him down? No, Busher. We'll make this look like another accident. Now get to work. Stokes first, then Jingles. Sir. You're adding one more mistake to a long line of them, Hyde. I play them like I find them, Hickok. Uh, Stokes is hugged. Uh, sit down, you big grizzly. No, you low-life hyena. You ain't tying me up. <laughs> ah, watch where you're shooting. You're lucky I was watching, Deputy. Now sit down. Do what he says, Jingles. All right, I don't like it here. Now, Hickok, I'll take care of you myself. Sit down. You got the top hand now, Hyde, but my time's coming. You bet it's coming, Mark. Marshal, sooner than you think. There. That's got him. The Bill, what's he up to? Well, it's right simple, Jingles. I just turn you all to face that little flask boiling acid. Oh. And I put a cork in the flask and wire it down. Like this. Bill, I don't like this. Now, in about one minute, that bottle will blow up and throw acid all over you. Then the fire will burn down this office. We ain't got much time, Mr. Hyde. Let's go. Yeah. Grab those weird books of mine. We got another accident to set up before this night's over. What's that? Never mind. Come on, let's go. So long, Hickok. Bill, we ain't got a chance now. Quick, Jingles. Rock your chair and fall over my way. But, Bill... Do it now. No time to lose. You almost got it that time. Keep it up. Ah, if I can make mine fall right... I don't know what you've got in mind, Hickok, but I hope it works. Me too, Sully. Made it. You better do the same, Sully, and get your eyes away from that acid. All right. Well, what good's that going to do us, Bill? If I can get my teeth into that knot, it's got your hands tied up, Jingles. Maybe we can get loose yet. How are you making out, Bill? If I can get just a little closer. There. Uh, if they hadn't been tied up our feet, it would have helped. Bill, it's working. I can feel the rope loosening up some. My dad, Hickok, I never saw a man could think as fast as you do. Bill, that's it. I'm free. I'll get my feet loose. Hickok, the acid, it's going to bust. Turn your head. Don't it. Now well, the whole place is on fire. Stop. Get the rope, rope Bill. All right, work fast, Jingles. Yeah. Lucky we got away from that acid when we did. Yeah, but we can still get burned up. Yeah. I'm loose now. Thanks, Jingles. Get Sol his feet. I'll yeah. cut his hands loose. Oh, that, 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 
never had a chance. Uh, all right. Uh, Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, I mean, to catch up with the varmints. Bill, anything you want out of that office before it burns to the ground? No, they took Hyde's records with them. Yeah, but we don't know where they went. They said they were going to set up another accident. But where? Salty, <laughs> where have most of these accidents been happening? Uh, up at the diggings. What's the most important thing up there you can think of? Uh, the big flume that feeds water down at the sluice boxes. All right, we'll play a hunch and head for that flume. Uh, Bill, Bill, look up at that hill. More flames. Well, they're burning the flume, Hickok. Run for the horses. If we're going to catch those coyotes, it's now or never. <laughs> We're too late to save the flume, Hickok. You won't need it for mining silver, Salty. Where'd those hyenas get to, Bill? We'll never find them in the dark. Hey, there goes another fire starting over there to your left. Sam, Bill, I saw a shadow. There they are. Get them, partner. I have a shot. Get up there, Jim. They're running for their lives. Faster buckshot for gaining on them. Bill, we'd better swing a loop and pull them off their cayuses. No, Jingles, ride them down. All right, you salamanders, that's your last chance to shoot at me. I'm plumb mad now. Dig in, Joker. Ho, ho, ho. Take Busher, Jingles. I'll get high. I got him. All right, mister. Come down off of that horse. I'll kill you, Hickok. You missed two mighty good chances for that, Hyde. Your killing days are over. <laughs> and that goes for you too, Busher. Man, man, I ain't never seen fighting like that in all my born days. Both them thieving, killing hyenas are sound asleep. Yeah. I hope they stay that way till we get them locked up in jail, too. Well, partner, that wraps up a good night's work. Here's a record of all Hyde's double dealings in his saddlebag. I reckon all the miners around Fiddler's Bend owe you and Jingles a big debt of gratitude, Mr. Hickok. Not at all, Salty. We want to thank you for putting us on the trail of Orson Hyde. Yes, yeah, Salty. It was mighty nice of you to get us buried alive and tied up and near burned to death and running around getting shot at half the night. Why, if it hadn't have been for you, I might just have to spend the whole evening sitting around to whittling my thumbs. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Have a nice weekend, everybody, and we'll be with you again on Monday. You bet we will, Guy, with a rip-roaring story about a mean killer who called himself the Stranger. Be with us, will you? So long, kids. See you Monday. <laughs> Wranglers, there for you and everybody, personally. Yes, in Kellogg's Variety Pack, there are ten extra fresh personal portions of Kellogg's Good and Good For You cereals. Why, with the Variety Pack, you can pick your own personal portion of Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Sugar Frosted Flakes, and our favorites. So remember, at breakfast time, Rangers, have Kellogg's delicious cereals in fresh personal portions. Ask Mom to get you Kellogg's Variety Pack. <laughs> Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Bill Boucher, Vic Perrin, and Barney Phillips. Our director was Paul Pierce, story by Larry Hayes, music by Dick O'Ron. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon speaking for Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, reminding you to listen again on Monday, same time, same station, for another adventure of Wild Bill Hickok! <laughs>